So you started this off about, you, you mentioned, you check in with her about possible objections. To talk right. to us about where you, why you start, start with that. Well, whenever people have symptoms or problems, um, sometimes they're just relics from the past. Sometimes they have no relevance in their current life. They don't have any impact. But very often, they, they do have some kind of positive intention or positive function, or what's often called secondary gain. Uh -huh. And I want to find out about that. And I want to find out about it up front, and I want to find out about it at the end. And so usually I ask right at the beginning, when I'm proposing to make a change or help them make a change, I say, is there any problem if, uh, you know, really think this through, is there any problem if you no longer have this response? Yeah. And, of course, I'm going on the nonverbal response as well as the verbal. Yeah. And it's it's really important because sometimes you don't want to change things. Uh, mm -hmm. There's something and, unless you change something else first or make some other arrangements, yeah. so that the person's protected in whatever way they need to be protected. Yeah. And a lot of what's called quote resistance quote is damn smart. Yeah. Uh, they know something that I don't know or that the client, the therapist doesn't know. That if they made that change, it would actually not be uh, worthwhile overall. Yeah. So this this is a classic therapist mistake that leads to, as you say, resistance and uh, you get you to bark up the wrong tree. Yeah. So, okay. I, so I eat resistance for lunch. As soon as somebody says, I, I'm, I don't want to do that or I'm concerned about that, I go, great, great, great. Let's really find out about this and then I go into that and deal with that and then come back to the original outcome.